Kentucky's Secretary of State addresses election updates at Big Sandy Area Development District meeting in Pressensburg. It's very important to me to communicate with my constituents and to also get feedback. And so I make a point to get all around the state as much as I can, get out of the state capitol building, go out and meet the people, go to public events, go to official events like this. Uh, we go to all the ads if we can. Uh, we've been all over the state doing those. Uh, we do media appearances. Uh, we do all, all sorts of things to make sure not just that we communicate what we're doing, but so we can hear if people like it or not. The Secretary of State shared vital updates on the ongoing election reform efforts in Kentucky. The primary focus of these reforms is to ensure transparency, security, and efficiency in the electoral process. So at my request, the General Assembly's done a few things. Uh, one is they provided more money to the counties for them to upgrade their technology to get more secure uh, technology for our elections, including a transition to paper ballots, which are more secure, I think, than electronic voting equipment. Are you ready for a new school year? What better way to start a new school year off right than with a new device on the network that keeps our students and teachers connected? Appalachian Wireless. Whether you need a new smartphone, wearable, or an iPad, we have your back-to-school solution. Visit AppalachianWireless.com or go into one of our 26 retail locations for our back-to-school deals that'll help you show up and show out this school year. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. In a bid to enhance the election process, the Secretary of State set a firm deadline for a significant change by the close of 2023. We've already met that deadline, and when we vote for governor and other offices uh, in November, every ballot in Kentucky will be on a piece of paper. The paper ballots themselves will be processed by advanced counting machines, ensuring accuracy and efficiency. Uh, we hand count uh, select ballots uh, at random and make sure that the machine is counting them correctly. So that way we get the benefit, we get the security of a paper trail, but also the speed of a quick count. Despite the positive developments, concerns about election security have arisen in light of recent threats targeting the November elections. It's always a concern. Uh, it's very frustrating. Uh, there has been somewhat of a veiled threat uh, by the so-called pillow guy uh, to send people to our polls uh, and potentially be disruptive. We'll be prepared for that if it happens. I don't think that it actually will. But if it is uh, going to happen, we'll be ready for it. As the Secretary of State continues to gather insights from communities across Kentucky, the collaboration between government officials, election boards, and citizens remains a crucial component in ensuring a fair and transparent election. Reporting from Mountain Top News, I'm Evan Miller.